Could you talk a little bit more about some of that excitement and all the highlights for you? You know, what is it that's keeping you motivated to do this and, and as you go along? So I think for me, the motivation more than anything else is that I've been involved in cancer research now for, as I say, 30 years or something like that. And, you know, I've, I've published some really nice papers and I found some really interesting things out. And hopefully that is of benefit to the community and other people have benefited from the, the kind of groundwork, I suppose, in those papers and in those discoveries. But in all honesty, you know, a whole career of cancer research and not a single cancer patient has lived a minute longer as a result of, you know, what I've been working on. And it's only by that kind of translation of the research in the laboratory to getting something that perhaps is of commercial value and clinical value by which, you know, you make any sort of impact. So I'm very inspired by that sort of idea of translating the exciting research that I've been involved in in the laboratory into something that actually potentially could be clinically useful and could actually make a difference to patients' lives. Um, in terms of the highlights of the journey so far, I think one of the very uh, exciting things has been, you know, getting engaged in things like the iKill program, talking to investors and getting that very positive feedback that there is something there that other people are interested in and think could have potential. That's been very kind of um, validating, I suppose. Um, and also just the journey, you know, I mean, you know, it's been a whole, it's a whole new world and a whole new kind of project. And it's always motivating and exciting getting involved in something new. And this is definitely something very new for me.